Oh, look. There he goes. Come on, get you. Come on, get you. Come on, get you. Is that a... Yeah, it's a yeah, guillotine. It's a guillotine. Hmm. Ah, didn't know they were French. Do you honestly think you're fucking? Could you be any louder? Ah! Oh! You, you really trying to trap yourself, dude? I had never noticed it before. I was wondering if it would go off if you stepped on it. Oh, uh, slide. More Martin Cito pants. This time in Factorio. Now, there's there's a certain level to playing Factorio in terms of gaming. I'm not on that level. Um, but you could get there. Let's see. Where? Uh, let's see. Factorio. Yeah, there he is. So, uh, someone has been requesting this on the YouTube channel forever, but then I think someone pulled a fast one and recommended it in our Discord. Oh, uh, yeah, reminder there's a better chance of them seeing this on Discord. So, it was probably this person who shared it on Discord, and now, uh, 905 Sonic King in our comments section. Uh, thank you for your suggestion and, you know, to the ones who recommended it and upvoted it on Discord. Thank you. You want to hear my history with Factoria? Uh, I think you've told me, but uh, go ahead and regale uh, the people at home. So I really, really like Satisfactory. It's a fun game. It's very chill. 3D <clears throat> Factorio. Yeah. And everybody was like, oh, you like Factorio. I get in Factorio, come to find out all of the resources in the game are limited and there's basically no way to actually automate everything and like this seems like the opposite of the objective of satisfactory like They're it's just actual... struggle to get places and well i've seen people with like actual automated things and self-sufficient power things but i don't have a harvard degree <laughs> so allow me to uh let you in on a little secret. Mods. Meh, I guess. N no, that's... I shouldn't anyone, have to mod again any, to enjoy it. Anyone though. out there who has talked about Factorio has basically said, you need mods. Much like Gary's mod, you need mods. I mean, Gary's mod itself is a mod. Of, yeah, I guess so. of the half of the Half Life Two or the original Source Engine, and here's my thinking on it: is just depends on how much you're willing to initially put into it. And I would say a couple mods here and there to add in automation to make everything more efficient. It's not the worst thing ever. It's not like Nexus Mod Manager, and you've got fifteen thousand mods to keep track of and everything. I mean, from what I understand, it's, I think it's like five, maybe six mods that people put in to make everything <clears throat> work more efficiently and thus make the game more fun. Now, you would think with an overwhelmingly positive review score on Steam and no one in the reviews that I saw mentioning mods, the, the game should be enjoyable in its base form. Alright, let's go ahead and hop into this before we go on any more. This is Expanding Into Space in Factorio. Here we go. Good evening. In this video, we fly to space in Factorio. That's right, boyos. We've installed the Space <coughs> Exploration Mod, which allows us to build a rocket, strap in, and launch ourselves into the great beyond to explore, expand, and conquer. Gentlemen, our subjugation will be vast, and our profits will be vaster. For us to win, we don't just launch a single satellite like Vanilla Factorio. No, disgusting. Far too easy. Freak. To win, we must build an interstellar spaceship and fly it at the speed of light. Will we achieve this lofty goal? Will we synergistically motivate client-oriented initiatives? Will we be overrun by the hordes of angry environmentalists, or will our gross incompetence cost us everything? Joining us on this journey are my slate I mean, employees, Ben <laughs> and Tristan. So, let us begin. Also, that scream is from is from Half Life. I was made well aware of it uh, in the last Martin Cito Pants video. 
Thank you for correcting me. I appreciate it. What did, you, what did you think? Yeah, it was from? I said I thought it sounded like Swagger Souls. I said I'd know that uh, gorilla anywhere, but <laughs> turns out it's it is from Half Life. So there you go. If anything, that just shows you Swagger just screams like the science like the scientist from uh, from Half Life. I dribbled upon myself. I was gonna say, save that for the basketball court, dude. And right here, which is precisely where our little spaceship had crash landed. In the distance, were these. Oh shit! From here, it was up to us and our entrepreneurial spirit. So, we began work. We built some drills to mine ore, furnaces to smelt the ore into plates, and plates into more drills to mine more ore into more plates. The factory had begun. We then drilled some copper, coal, and stone, built some power infrastructure, and before we knew it, Red Science had been fully automated. Next, expansion. Copper mining expanded. Copper smelting expanded. Iron smelting expanded. Main bus built. Hmm. Green science. Automated. Dude, Red science. Like, he, he's already skipped all the steps. I couldn't even fucking figure out to start with. <laughs> it, uh, this mods. game is so complicated. Mods. Dragon City. Installed in your phone. From ah. Gentlemen, do you like dragons? Do you like cities? You're not going to believe this, boys, but this video is sponsored by Dragon City. A free-to-play RPG PvP dragon collection game available for iOS, Android, Windows Phone... <laughs> Collect yourself over 1,000 different Jesus. dragons. Each and every dragon will flood your brain with energy and make you truly feel alive. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Dragon, 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 dragon. That's a lot of dragons, guys. Breed your dragon. Lay an egg. Hatch that some and feed him, feed him, feed him, feed him, feed him. Look at him. He is your son. <laughs> Train him. Put him through the ringer in dragon basic training by smacking this little wood. Fight him against other dragons. Place him into a legal PvP cockfight ring and claim ultimate victory. Still unconvinced? If you don't download this game, you will regret it. There Sounds kind of like Neo Pets with dragons. A truly unlimited, intense gaming. I still don't think you are convinced. You better download this game. I am living so in your world. Battle Look at these pass because of course there is. Yeah. My favorite Minecraft is Mr. Yeast. George is still unable to be located. And Drear, well, there he is. My favorite YouTuber, Drear in Dragon Ball. If you download the game from the link in the description, I might get enough bargaining power to convince the devs to add a frog. So download it with the link in the description and get a free roll of 15,000 food, 30,000 gold, and some very rare space being dragon that isn't a frog, but it's okay, maybe I'll get there one day, they'll be- All I want is frog, please! What are you waiting for, boys? If it's good enough for Drear, it's good enough for you. Drear. So download it. I'm waiting. <coughs> Add over. Research completed. We had researched the belt balancer. From the mod, belt balancers. The cool little gadget that would cause us no problems whatsoever in our future. <laughs> in Vanilla Factory, <laughs> if I want these eight belts to go into seven belts equally, I need to build this. Horrible. Yeah. See, that's one reason why the modding community in Factorio is so adamant of just like, yeah, these the devs didn't think of this shit. Instead, we're thinking of this shit, so we're gonna make it a thing. With belt balances, all we need to build is this. Hmm. Hey. Wonderful. E Following this, we had our very first complaint from the local environmentalists. So we murdered them on the spot. These small bean-shaped ah. attackers weren't getting an issue, and like any good corporation, we swept the problem under the rug and pretended it didn't happen. To absolutely no one's surprise, this didn't work. Mm -mm. Our factory fart cloud had reached them, and they weren't gonna stop. Yep. Oh, look, new research. Waterfill. If landfill lets you fill in water with land, waterfill lets you fill in land with water. Mm. It's very useful and has no exploits whatsoever. <coughs> the protesters were back and in bigger numbers. Tristan and I ran out of the building we were working in and violently <coughs> apprehended the suspects. Gentlemen, the problem was growing. <laughs> we had three options, all of which involved violence. We could do nothing and get repeatedly mauled to death by the increasingly stronger biters. We could hunker down more and construct turrets and walls to defend our assets, or we could take the fight to them with our new weaponry. We chose option three. To help us, Ben contacted our local arms dealers and bought an army of chain guns, which have big tracks, autonomous driving, and uh, water cannons for dispersing crowds. So we sent them in and dispersed some crowds. Water cannons? Yeah, they're obviously firing a uh, great Kool-Aid. Just look at all the grape Kool-Aid on the ground. Mm. Totally not blood. <laughs> Territory is forfeit to Bean Boys Incorporated. Day two. Things were going great. The factory was growing. The environmentalist menace had been kept at bay. And we were starting to use words like disseminate and synergy. While Tristan and I had been expanding the military science, Ben had been busying himself with learning trains. An obsession that would lead to some truly 
beautiful things. Oh my lord. To build the train network, we'd need lots of clear space. So Ben set to work, water filling the nearby cliffs, when he water filled under his feet, and was instantly killed. Oh no! Ah, fuck! <laughs> things have been peaceful for a- Ah, fuck! <laughs> it's just like, it's like, nothing could possibly go Pain. wrong. And was instantly killed. You have been defeated. Ah! <laughs> ah, fuck! Things have been peaceful for a while. Too peaceful. As Ben was finishing up his squeaky clean environmental coal mine, he was jumped by a large group of biters making horrible demands for higher wages and equal pay. I ran up to assist and was promptly mauled to death uh -oh. by uh -oh. an angry mob. Uh oh. Twice. I just killed me again! Fuck! I called Tristan over to help with the crowd dispersing and built a car. How do you shoot? Oi! We linked up with Ben in the north with a small army of chain gunners and sent the boys in to deliver retaliatory lawsuits in enormous volume. <laughs> Complete and total destruction. Once the battle had settled, it was obvious that the biters were in complete financial ruin. But they would be back. What we needed to do they was never build learned. a wall. With our selection of mods, there were many options to choose from. Make Stone walls, the biters pay for walls. it. Yep, exactly. Spiked walls, but really, these all suck. Instead, we can build a tiny moat out of water fill, and it'll create a totally impervious barrier. So, Tristan made a bunch of water fill, and sectioned off the north end for good. Yeah. <laughs> After the wall had been built, the attacks cooled down for a while, allowing us to expand our business to the next ray frontier, the water. After a little boat stuff, Tristan and I experimented with our latest innovative innovation, supersonic trains. As you can probably guess, <coughs> these are trains that can travel really, really fast. Jesus! Damn. If you've got anxious crossing train tracks with <laughs> yeah. pathetic 300 km an hour trains, yeah. they get ready to be flattened so fast that the train only appears on your screen for one frame. <laughs> <laughs> These trains would not only give our network speed and efficiency, but also... So all of a sudden it's just like, or oh, I'm gonna cross track that fuck! Yeah, I believe you need some bridges over thing. the train tracks at that point. Yes, yeah, either the... Well, or tunnels, or yeah. a tunnel. You could dig under. I've been upgrading the trains. Tristan had been driving his boat. Oh. Um, driving his boat. Tristan. And driving his boat. No, 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 no! I might die. I might die. Tristan! I'm you dead. idiot! I'm no. Tristan's death at sea had ripped a sense of purpose away from him. He became a shell of the former man we all knew, and repeatedly tried to run me down in a hit and run Tristan. with his gun. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you dick! It. Stop it! <laughs> Poor guy. The factory was growing, and the biters didn't like it. Ah. For the next hour, we were subjected to non-stop raids by increasingly violent environmentalists. What we needed to do mm. was go on the attack. They ben never learned a squad man. of flame tumblers, high-speed cars armed with flamethrowers. He sent them in, only to realize that some of the biters were immune to fire damage. Oh wait, what? There's a biter that's invincible. It doesn't take fire damage. Fuck! And they all died. Shit. Damn Unfortunately it. for us, we couldn't just water fill them off now because that would cut off lots of valuable resources. First, yeah. we needed to push them back and then water fill. Ah. Then he built himself a flame tumbler and was zooming around the battlefield at breakneck speed. He went so yeah. fast, in fact, that he drove straight into a rock, got stuck, and died. We recovered Ben's body, brought out the water fill, and sealed off the southern flank to the bay. <coughs> Next, the west. The biggest chain gunner army yet had been purchased from our friends at Lockheed Mart. We took Lockheed the army and sent them all to the southwest flank. Yep. Complete and total annihilation. Justice was swift, and the resources... Oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Peacekeeping. They're on a peacekeeping mission, right? Mm -hmm. Right, I get you. It's a diplomatic mission. Yes, diplomatic in the sense that they don't want to have any more conversations ever with anyone. So they're taking the best solution. Annihilation. Permanently, permanently make we everyone the shut the fuck up. Seal exactly. ourselves away from the outside world. The war was over, and the factory building could continue <laughs> on a much larger scale. Day three. I suggested to Tristan a devilish plan. Water fill, we can water fill those, um... We can water fill under Ben? Oh, do you want to go do that? I think that'd be too mean. I want to go do that. He would go up to Ben and water fill under his feet. Oh. <laughs> 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 I was doing some more boat stuff. <laughs> when another alert oh. came over the radios. Somehow, the biters had snuck into the factory once again. What? How the hell? What, 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 how the fuck? I drove over in my flame tumbler and burnt those little shits to death. The expression on my mind was, how? How the fuck? Clearly, the wall wasn't enough. 
I took another quick tour of our beautiful moat and discovered literally thousands of bugs in very close proximity. If I got close enough to them, I could even hear them say horrible things like, tax the rich. <laughs> Clearly, all we needed was to expand the gap. This meant expanding waterfill production, so I built a rudimentary waterfill factory, collected a bunch of waterfill, and began widening the moat when this happened. Oh! So that's how they did it! I collected my stuff and finished the moat widening, but still unsurprisingly, felt very much in danger. I could take yeah. all I wanted with my <laughs> shitty sniper rifle. Yes. But really, I'd need some more firepower. So naturally, I forgot about it. I did some more boat stuff. <laughs> then, yeah. I made some basic construction bodders, built some train stuff, made use of balancer parts, got flattened by a train, ah. did some more boat stuff, and finally, after two and a half hours, the biters were back in our base. Wait, Damn what, it! What, what, wait, 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 wait. There's fucking biters in our base. This time, somehow, they managed to make a nest right smack in the middle of our territory. How rude. We got rid of that nest, but this nest wasn't the issue. The fact that they could just appear in our base, now that was the issue. It was time to develop a new weapon. A weapon more powerful than anything we had tried before. We knew that Waterfill could kill. Tristan had used it recently to brutally murder Ben in cold blood. <laughs> So could it work against our environmentalist friends? Fuck you, come here. Come here, big boys, come here. Yes. Yes, it could. It could even <laughs> destroy their nests. And hence, <laughs> wow. a new meme was born. Fuck you, water fills your house. This strategy used a lot of water fill. All right, fuck you, fuck you, water filling your house. So Ben set to well, work optimizing the line for yeah. full scale wartime production. While Ben was Damn. doing that, just enjoined again, hopped in a flame tumbler, and repeatedly drove it at high speed into our own buildings. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's well. That's what you get for kill. You know, like water filling him to death. Tristan. <laughs> Once Ben had finished the monstrous waterfall facility, we met there to discuss our game plan. And a waterfall, Tristan. You just pick it up. Once an area had been water filled, it was impossible for the biters, but also impossible for us. This problem was solved by Ben with a very simple solution: getting into the water with a boat. Oh my god! Fuck you, 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 fuck you. Wow. We water filled so much area that we completely separated our base and it constructed an island. Damn. Safety had finally been achieved. Day four of our recording binge began with this ominous message. In 24 hours, the sun would do a little trolling. Ben was still at it, water filling houses, and has successfully sectioned off an entire gigantic island in the north that contained lots and lots of resources. <coughs> then I went to work trying to clear out the island and got mauled to death once again. Oh shit. Nah. Meanwhile, I began automating yellow science, the last type of science pack before we had to launch anything to space. Two hours later, I managed to hook everything up to the building and had a slow but steady stream of piss science. Holy shit. I'm pogging out of my mind. Excellent. <laughs> We could now research many more things. So we started some research and realized that our production lines were running like shit. It turned out we had a lot of bottlenecks. Firstly, I noticed that our sulfur production was lacking petroleum. I checked mm. our oil refineries, they were working, but then they would stop working. I checked the oil train station and there was no oil, which means no petroleum, which means no sulfur, which means no science. Not good. I checked our oil drilling and it had been tapped almost completely dry. So we needed more oil. Well, mm. there was some oil down here, a little bit past our yeah, canal. Wait. This was an excellent Jesus, opportunity. How long has that been up there? Fill, some more houses. Oh, well, so we're about we're now combined house flooding. You didn't notice that? This was like up here, like this. Oh no, I didn't notice that. <laughs> I've been staring at the middle of the screen the whole Me time. Me too. That's weird. I was like, <laughs> I was like, how long has that been there? Whoops. <laughs> yeah, but managed to then separate off a few islands with oil and iron. Problem was, these islands were still covered in biters, and we couldn't just water fill them, because that would remove the resources. Yeah. What we needed was a way to clear them out. Lucky for us, we had researched light artillery, and it was actually very effective. Once the oil island had been cleared, I built a train station and hooked up the oil to our network. This gave the science production enough of a boost to finish researching heavy artillery, which we would be needing Ooh. for the much larger and more dangerous North Island. So, we built some artillery train wagons. Oh my god! Go. Gustav cannons?! <laughs> <laughs> Brother! They built the fucking train from Einhander from the second level. Yeah, dude, that's Just literally with like all kinds of fucking cannons on it. it dude, those are Gustavs. Those are Gustav cannons. <laughs> Ach, tomb, motherfucker! Damn. 
we had worked hard today and played Factorio for 13 hours. So naturally, we engaged in a little <laughs> rocket launcher tomfoolery. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ben! Yeah, Damn I it! Just, I got him, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> 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 Tristan, our latest innovation, Supersonic yes, Trains I'll show you. 2. I'll show you. Which he used to suddenly and abruptly reverse directly into our artillery truck. <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> You motherfucker. <laughs> fucking idiot! <laughs> so, uh, well <laughs> you done, dumb shit. The glorious weapon. Yes, the Gustav cannons are no more because of your bullshit. Put him in the gulag. Yeah. Oh. And they just ran him over. Ah, oh, fuck. What the top <laughs> you get what you deserve, over. dick. Build us some power armor MK3, which we filled Ooh. with leg. Leg. Day five began. Tristan joined the server. Said fuck you. Fuck you. Left. <laughs> Thanks, Tristan. Ben and I started the day off well done. flying our first little satellite into space. We yeah. built some rudimentary rocket part production, built up the rocket parts, chucked the satellite inside, and launched. Train. Hey! Hey! Wait, so That's not the finish of the game, I'll, I'll tell you that. So we just finished the game. Nice! No, we, we didn't. Let's go! We, we didn't. Tristan, we didn't finish the Let's Tristan, we go. didn't finish the game. And there we go, boys. We'd done it. Our very first object sent into the great beyond. In celebration, we then used the satellite to reveal a huge area of the map and a brand new planet, Alex. Ooh. We took a quick look at the surface to discover it was very volcanic and generally not nice. Mm. The satellite had also revealed all the locations of the biters on our northern island. So Ben and I decided it was time for some expansion. We called in the artillery train and laid waste to our enemies. Destruction. <laughs> I see you target. Are the orange ones your targets? No, Tristan. The children are my targets. <laughs> <coughs> Next on the agenda was making big boy smelter arrays for our brand new, freshly claimed resources. While I was constructing them, Ben came by with a brand new invention the thrust suit. Which he had outfitted with a jetpack. <laughs> Pretty cool. I then finished up the copper smelting array by adding the train stations. For these train stations, I'd come up with an interesting design. All it needed was about 60 balancer parts placed like this. Items would flow into the top and mm -hmm. evenly distribute themselves into each chest. This design was compact, convenient, and quite fast. So of course, we used it wherever we could. Day 6 Just began as any pace. good day should. A quick artillery barrage oh. onto an enormous patch of biters. Destroy everything. A few minutes later, we were reminded of our impending doom. The coronal mass ejection. Oh no. It was gonna happen in two minutes. Ah! Oh, no. We had no idea what to expect, other than those big lasers from the very start of the game would be back. We'd built an umbrella defense, which said it could deflect coronal mass ejections and energy beams with up to 500 gigawatts of attacking power. So we should be fine, right? Nope. The time came, the coronal mass ejection began, and the umbrella defense activated. Oh shit, look at it! Shit, oh, there we go. Ooh. So far, all was going well. But then, I checked the power consumption. 700 megawatts, 800 megawatts, oh, no. 900 megawatts, oh, 1 no. gigawatt, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4. All the machines around us stopped. The factory came to a halt. And suddenly, uh, it has the capacity. Ah. Holy shit! 19 giant death rays touched down on the factory. Oh, this hell. was very bad. All the power was off, and the radio was going nuts with alerts. Oh. The damage oh seemed to be concentrated God. in one spot on the North Island. Uh, where, where, where? Top oh fuck, it's destroying the shit! <laughs> I'm running, I'm sprinting up there, I'm sprinting at a fucking high velocity. Ben and I sprinted up to investigate, and found this. <laughs> Dude, it's fucking just barbecuing our shit! Oh. This particular death ray had decided to barbecue a section of rail. But that was it. The other 18 rays had missed completely. Wait a minute. What's this? Eh! <laughs> <laughs> We'd gotten very lucky. <laughs> that was probably Tristan. Uh, the boys have got it. The boys have got it. And none of the beams had hit anything important. But what if one of them had hit the main base? I can confidently say it would not have been fun. So what actually happened? Well, the umbrella defense took so much power that it left none for anything else in the factory. This included the offshore pumps that brought water to the nuclear reactors. No water means no steam, and no steam means no electricity. Mm. So as soon as they shut down, the factory died. Too, but we don't have five foot. <gasps> Holy shit! Not good. 
we'd gotten very lucky that the damage was so minimal. So to prepare for future CMEs, we forgot about it. <laughs> Next, we launched another satellite and discovered a new planet called Nostos. This one even had biters on it. Six minutes later, we launched another one and discovered Panna, a teeny weeny planet covered in oil. Mm. Mm. Oil. We launched mm. another satellite and discovered... Uh, uh, an RGB planet rich in vulcanite. And mm. finally, we launched a satellite and discovered Prabhava, which had this very interesting structure poking out of the sand on its surface. Ooh. Now, how would we actually get to these planets? So far, all we'd done was launch some satellites, which are easy to make and can't take you up into space. What we really needed was a cargo rocket. So we built a cargo rocket silo and then forgot about it. Day 7 <coughs> began with Ben demonstrating the power of filling your Power Armor MK4 with a hundred leg. What you doing, Ben? <laughs> Jesus! Well, I've been hard at work doing stuff. Ben had also been hard at work doing stuff, particularly in the North Island, where he managed to link up every single resource to our beautiful train network. To celebrate this, Ben took out his high explosive rocket launcher oh, and did this. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. No! <laughs> Ran it for so long. It was a rocket launcher. Bucket. And did this. Run away, run away, run away, run away. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Martin. <laughs> Our design philosophy had shifted heavily to favor trains. The miners would mine ore and place them into chests. Trains would come by and get filled by those chests. The train would take the ore to a smelter array. The smelter array would smelt the ores into plates and put them back on the train. That train would go to another facility and deliver the plates, which would be combined. With blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the system to work properly, we would need to build many separate facilities that produced everything we needed. I built a green circuit facility, a plastic facility, a red circuit facility, a brick smelter, a blue circuit facility, a copper smelter array, a module production facility. You get the idea. Lots of facilities, mm -hmm. lots of trains. Oh my god. And lots of production. The factory was expanding faster than ever. So fast that. Oh fuck. Our power had increased so much that we could almost run as fast as the supersonic trains. Okay, here it comes. You ready? Bye. <laughs> oh, Holy shit. Ah! Jesus! Supersonic trains. We'd research the final tier of speed. Supersonic trains. Oh. Three. Oh. Then built one and put the most powerful fuel possible inside it. Oh, it's okay. Ready? <laughs> oh! <Fucking> Damn. It's <laughs> <coughs> a bullet fast, train, bro! It was actually supposed to go faster. When going a full tilt, <laughs> it could travel at 7,386.3 kilometers an hour. Oh! But really, it should have been going well over 50,000 kilometers an hour, or about two times escape velocity. My theory is that 7,386.3 kilometers an hour is the hard limit set by the game that nothing can exceed. Which is unfortunate, because I would have liked to go at twice escape velocity. Yo. Day 8 Meow. was kind of shit. Oh my god. At this point, I've grown accustomed time. to building with belt balances. Lots and lots of belt balances. Oh, mm. no. The game had been lagging a lot recently. I opened up the debug menu and checked show time usage to get a better idea of what was eating up all my computer's resources. Each update in Factorio can at maximum take 16.6 .6 milliseconds to process before the game starts slowing down. Our update time was hovering a little over that. Hmm. With this debug menu, we could see exactly what was taking up our precious milliseconds. Entities were taking around 2.5, the electricity network was taking around one, and lots of other regular game processes took another combined four milliseconds. What was causing us problems was script update. This is where all the mods are. The factory buildings were costing us nearly one millisecond. End game combat was costing us half a millisecond. And finally, belt balances. They were costing us... Eight Double. milliseconds. Oh no. Every single thing <laughs> in the factory and all the biters oh combined no. produce less lag than these little yellow boxes. So this left us with one option. Replace every single belt balancer with an actual balancer made of actual belts. Uh, every train loader, every unloader, and many, no. many production facilities. See? <coughs> Mods aren't always the answer. They made it easy until you got so far and then it fucked you over. 882 balancer parts, and every single one of them needed to be removed. Five hours later, <laughs> we'd finished, and built a whole bunch of beautiful, belt-based, belt balances. <sighs> day nine was preparation day. What were we preparing for? Space. A quick trip into orbit Spice. to see what's up, and then straight back down. First off, we needed to make the rocket and fuel it. 
I built this liquid rocket fuel production facility. Ah! It's fucking light oil! Oh, 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 oh. Turned it on and hooked it up to the cargo rocket silo. <laughs> Next was cargo rocket part production. This bastard of an item took what felt like 800 different resources to build. It took around four hours, and once it was done, we turned it on. Here comes the train. <laughs> Holy shit. That's so cool. Day 10. Today was the day. After ironing out bugs in the system for another two hours, the rocket parts were finally on belts, heading over to the silo. We might just have to Whoa. Oh, meat. big boy. Meat. Jesus big boy. That's a fucking... That's a big boy. That's a big <laughs> rock suit. <laughs> and a bunch of life support canisters to survive in the vacuum of space. We made a list of all the items we would need, loaded them into the silo, and built the rocket. A big boy. The rocket was built, the fuel was in, and all that remained was us. I'm gonna hit it. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Hell yeah. Welcome to Spice. Nice. Once again, thank you to Dragon City. You can download it from the link in the description. I'm still living in your walls. <laughs> Asher didn't like that either. <laughs> no. He's like, I hear him in the walls. It's like, I am in your walls. Proceeds to punch wall. <laughs> Proceeds to piss off Doggo upstairs. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> I was going to say, if we could shrink down Asher and, you know, put him in the walls to chase you through the walls, Martin, you'd be in trouble. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Yeah, so, Factorio, baby. Dear God, what a friggin' nightmare to replace all of those, to replace all those things. See, I don't um, know if I actually have the logistical ability in my head to ever make it to that point in terms of creating all that stuff. Well, keep because, in mind, he had three uh, people hit, with him. Well, true, yeah. Like, uh, I've hit... It was, hit, it was him, Tristan, and uh, Ben. Like, I've hit a wall in Satisfactory where even with its simpler nature, it's just like my brain just kind of goes... I get it. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, it's just... No, I get it. It's like trying to come up with some, a way to do what I need to do, and it's just like... Nope. Yeah, it, it won't cooperate. Right. It's like, what should I do, brain? Farts continuously. <clears throat> Brain's just like, I have an idea. What's the idea? And it proceeds to flatulence. just... It proceeds to just shit out, like, Cranial nothing. Cranial flatulence. Yeah. I'd... Oh, well. I guess the game's not for everybody. I guess it's just one of those things. I mean, I would love to get into it and play it. I just don't know if I'm smart enough. You never know till you try or till you like give it the old college try. Well I kinda did and didn't get very far. <laughs> I guess it was more of a high school try than a yeah. college try. Yeah. I guess, but anyway, I it's a game I'm probably never gonna play. I mean, just my whole deal. I mean it's not the kind of game I'm really into. I mean I I mean, you've talked to me about Deep Rock Galactic, and uh, I would really like to get into that at some point and play through it a little bit with y'all, but, I mean, it really just depends on... Apparently, Deep Rock Galactic's another game that if you get into it pretty hard, you can put a lot of time into, because uh, Arcane from our Discord apparently has a shit ton of hours. In um, like, what constitutes as a shit ton? Uh, a lot. You want me to find out? <laughs> you don't have to, but... I'll take your word for it. I was just like, damn. Like, because, I mean, it, is it's it, a seasonal... Is it like a thousand hours, or is it more than that? I'd say it's probably that close to that, if not. Jesus. It's, it's a seasonal type of game, you know, so it's like one of those things where, um, 
like even if you do everything there is to do in like the base game like there's still gonna be more stuff to unlock like, yeah every time they decide to do a major update for it mm, yeah <clears throat> so I, I mean it's amazing watching watching Martin and his friends just go through this this game here and just just absolutely destroy all of the like the boundaries that the game has posted and you you really okay so he's only played it for 486 okay but that's still pretty damn ridiculous yeah that's more than i've played on most of the games that i have same i i don't know what my my highest one is but I think my personal highest is still on PUBG. I still haven't actually surpassed that yet. Eh. Eh, give it enough time, maybe it'll happen. Alright, well, I think that's going to do it for this one, everybody. This was Expanding to Space in Factorio by Martin Cito Pants. Uh, this one, once again, was requested on our Discord, but, it was but also it was recommended on our YouTube comments, which... I guess that's, yeah, I mean, like I said, if you ever want us to react to something, I've said it before, I'll say it again, Put it has a greater chance of being noticed by us in our Discord than it does in our comment section. Yep. That's all I gotta say. But PUBG, 348. So anyway. Runner up, Satisfactory, 255. So anyway, <laughs> until next time, everybody, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. We'll see you later, everybody. Peace.